And that's that's scary for a lot of people. And it's so crazy to think about. It's so crazy to to say to you guys, but it, it's true, man. People will hate you because they can physically see the decisions they didn't make. They can physically see a body they didn't manifest. So it's just like you're living the actual lifestyle and they're still dreaming. They never woke up. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back with another video. We'll go back to my channel. We're doing another body game video. I, I kind of like being mic'd up with these because I feel like the audio is a lot better and it's more personal. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's more so a conversation, like a more man to man type conversation. So probably gonna be try to be more mic'd up. You know what I'm saying? So. But today's video is I'm going to talk about why they hate you and pretty much like some some gems to understand when you are going on a journey, just kind of like on a solo journey, like kind of like what you need to understand and why people are more attracted to you or why your attention is that much more powerful or that much more attracted to people when you're going solo. You're know saying when you're going on your grind, you're saying you're doing something that is more beneficial to you. So, um, first things first, like I was just online, I was watching uh, videos and everything. And then one of the most powerful things I was hearing was that when they control your mind, they control your time. And when they control your time, they control your mind. And man, that's like the highest form of mind control that, you know what I'm saying? I've been under and I've been exposed to subjected to you know learned about didn't was powerless on the under it you know didn't really understand it and uh basically breaking it down like what it means is that man time is the only thing you can't get back you know like as i get older as i start like to go into my journey figure out like what i like to do and like just actually in the space now to where I can do it, you know, and people are looking to me to do it, you know what I mean? Like I can finally like manifest, but you know what I'm saying? They hate you or just kind of like why, you know what I'm saying? It's like always like a back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Or, or an issue when you work on yourself is because you have to understand that people love things that are difficult to come by. And that's one of the things I've learned. And that's also, too, is time. That's why a lot of times you will deal with girls or you deal with people in general who just are so attracted on wasting people's time. Like, they're so attracted to play with people's time because they know, like, deep down, that person can never get that time back. And, you know, if it hurts them bad enough, they'll always remember it. But when you are going on a solo journey, you know what I mean, you have to understand that. When somebody controls your time, they control your mind. And that's so powerful because if you think about it, man, before you make a decision, before you, you take action, you got to think about it. Before you do any of those things, it takes time for you to even make those decisions. But when somebody is running through your mind, you know what I'm saying? When somebody is consistently distracting you and you're feeding into it and giving it attention and you're focusing on what they have to offer it's like you don't really realize it but that takes time you know what I'm saying that that does take away from your life you know what i mean and it's like you take the time focusing on something that you know is a distraction takes away for time for you to manifest your goals or you know what I'm saying get further into the gym get further into whatever you're doing and i just want you guys to understand like this is something i dealt with too you know i I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? I've definitely been distracted. <laughs> I've definitely been um, just so distracted to the point where I didn't manifest anything. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't studying. I wasn't doing any of that. And it's, just, it's crazy because now looking back onto it, it's like when somebody controlled my mind, they controlled my time. It was just like whatever they had to say I would listen to it or whatever they wanted to do, like we'll end up doing it. Or if it's something I wanted to do and they was down with it and it, it just controlled so much of my time, bro, that it's just like, now I look back on it. It's like, it was so small. Like it was so minuscule. It was so small. It was, it didn't make, it didn't make sense for the amount of time I put into that. You know what I'm saying? Like the amount of back and forth, the amount of, you know, driving to go somewhere, the amount of, should I go or should I not go? Like I really could be doing so many other things. You know what I'm saying? Just even just taking a walk in the park, bro. Like just really just 
understanding where I'm at now and where I want to be. And it's just like you you get so angry at yourself because you you realize how small how much time you wasted and that was because of a person you know what i'm saying that's one of the most biggest regrets i feel like a lot of people have and that's what i have too is is that when you are wasting time because of a person when somebody's controlling your mind bro you really can't focus and that's why i'm saying when you are focused it's attractive because people don't want to do it you know what i'm saying i'm understanding that a lot of things that are solo or a lot of things like for example going to the gym or working out or studying or bettering themselves bro people don't want to do it it's so much easier to be distracted it's so much easier to look up a video or a tiktok video or get that dopamine rush so when you see somebody who's doing that sometimes people i feel like get picked on or people get judged and everything like that because they know, like, at the end of the day, that person may surpass them. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that person may reach heights that will be remembered. You know what I'm saying? Or they may get the notoriety. They may get the fame from just putting the time in the craft and focusing. You know what I'm saying? And not focusing on the present. And what I notice is that... What I really, what I really, really notice is that it's like that compounds. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like... You know, you're, you're running a race, right? You just think that the person who's going the slowest can't never beat you. You know what I mean? But it's just like you just never know what that person has inside. And that person may have a, a burst of energy or a burst of speed that you don't know about. And then because you kind of relax or you take your foot off the gas because you don't think it's that serious of a race. It's like that person can really surpass you. That person can win the race, man. It's just like it's so amazing because. It's like a lot of things are misjudged and people are always looking to see what they can do in the present, but they never think about the future, man. That's why I really want you guys to understand is like that's attractive. If a person can figure out, OK, this is where I'm at now and I can manifest, I can I can put the work in. I, I can see a bigger picture than what everybody else sees, man. If that manifests, you're going to get hate for it. Like and that's why I want to relate it back to body game is it's like if people see you put it in the work people see you going to the gym and you know the first day is funny you know what I'm saying the first day is not that serious you know people don't really know how serious you are about it but after like a month or after three months i've noticed like it gets more to a point where it's like well why are you leaving me you know what i'm saying or why why am i not being you know on your journey you know what i'm saying and it's just like People switch up because when they see how much intensity and how much focus you have, they immediately feel like you're going to surpass them. You know what I mean? They immediately feel like I either need to tear you down or I need to be a part of the journey to be at your end result. You know what I'm saying? Your finish line. And it's just like you have to recognize it, man. You have to recognize it because if not, you will go through life either being controlled by somebody else's mind and you not being able to manifest anything because you wasted all your time or just in a sense of like dealing with somebody who's hating you for wanting better for yourself because they feel like you are surpassed them. you might not even have surpassed them yet but the thought of you actually doing it makes them sick the thought of you actually becoming a better version of yourself or becoming stronger makes people sick bro like it really does bother them on a subconscious level because they know what they should be doing and they're not doing it. And that's one thing I really started to realize, especially with body games, is that, you know, people only want the end result. They don't want to put the work in. And I've definitely been victim to that, too. It's like a lot of times, a lot of things I want, I just want it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want, I don't know what it takes to get that. Or, you know, sometimes I just, I just don't want to do it, man. It's just like, it's so crazy to think about that people deal with so many so much hate based on them wanting something more and they know what it takes and them actually doing it you would think you would get supported but at the end of the day no because if you're doing something different that nobody else is doing and they don't know how to do it they don't want to research on how to do it and you're the only one doing it you're going against the flow you know what i'm saying you're making people feel uncomfortable because it's like well what about me what am i doing people will automatically see you as a mirror of what they're not doing they'll automatically see uh, or compare themselves because you got to think people can't really look at themselves without a camera, without a mirror. So sometimes 
you doing what you are supposed to do and you being focused, it shows them that they're not adequate or they're not doing what they need to do. And that's a problem with them. You know what I mean? But it's just like they can't really see it on a day to day. But when they see your progress, they see you moving, they see you grinding and they see you doing everything. It's just like it scares them because they then feel like, well, I might be running out of time. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I, maybe I do need to work on this because they can. You have to understand when you're dealing with the physical, you are understanding like body game. People can physically see your progress. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that people are just making up. But you could take pictures, you know what I'm saying? You could take progress pictures, everything like that. People remember you from before. Now they can see the work. They can see the grind. They can see the hustle. And they can also see the results, man. And that's why I want you guys to understand, too, is, is that a lot of the good that you do, it definitely influences, but it also shows people what they don't want to do and what they're not doing. And that will anger anybody. Because think about it. If they feel like they don't have the time or they'll never put the time in or they don't feel like they had the mental shift to do it, a lot of times they won't do it. But also, a lot of times they'll hate you for even trying. You know what I'm saying? They'll hate you for even putting in the work to get to that level. You know what I mean? Because it hurts. Because you can't get time back, man. It's like you, you, you then, when you work on yourself, you get better results. And they know that all that time just compounded. All those days you going into the gym, all those days you didn't want to go, you went anyway. All those days you stayed focused even when, you know, nobody would go to the gym with you and everything like that. Over time, it gets easier and those problems don't happen. Or, you know what I'm saying? You start stepping over those problems that you had before. And you are a force to be working with. Nothing can stop you. And that's that's scary for a lot of people. And it's so crazy to think about. It's so crazy to to say to you guys but it is true man people will hate you because they can physically see the decisions they didn't make they can physically see a body they didn't manifest so it's just like you're living the actual lifestyle and they're still dreaming they never woke up and it's just like life is so crazy because you had an opportunity to to manifest but that doesn't mean that you're going you're going to manifest it you know what I'm saying? Just because you had an opportunity don't mean you're going to take it. And that doesn't mean the opportunity is going to be there for you waiting. So it's like, it's just crazy to think about, man. It's just, you know, I want you guys to understand that. Because it's so simple, but it's overlooked on a day-to-day -day basis. And it goes for all of us. And, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I just want to make sure you guys... You know what I'm saying? Get that out. I pretty much was just thinking about that today. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's almost like what you going to manifest? What you going to do? Or are you going to keep dreaming? You know what I mean? It's, just, it's something to think about. Like, are you going to keep hitting the snooze and putting it off for tomorrow? Or are you, are you going to actually do it? You know what I'm saying? Are people going to actually be able to see the work that you put in? Are they going to be able to see the fruits of your labor or not? So that's the end of your man. Definitely wanted to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I will be back with more body game videos. And um, yeah, man, it's up to you. Nobody else is going to do it for you. So I'm out. I'll see you in my next video.